launch box. It's a front end that is going to organize every single game that you have in your PC. It can do anything from Steam to MS-DOS and even run your ROMs from all console games. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to download it, install it, and set it up in your PC. Before we start, guys, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Let's begin. The first step is to go into the description down below where you're going to find the link to download Launchbox. Click to download now. On the second web page, you are going to need to enter your email address to be able to download it. Once you have entered your email address into the Launchbox website, you're going to get an email with a link address that is going to be available, I believe, for six hours, so you can download the software. Once you have downloaded it, you can go into your Downloads folder and double-click into Launchbox. First, you need to select the language that you prefer for the installation, click into OK. Here is the license of agreement, you want to read that, and click into I accept the agreement, click into Next. And in here, you can change the default folder. Next, and Next. And click into Install to start the installation process. Sometimes you can get a pop-up, that is going to need the following applications before the setup can continue and you want to click into yes. When the installation process is done, Launchbox is going to run automatically. And the first time that you open it, you are going to have a prompt that is going to ask you how will you like to populate your collection of games. From here, you can choose between import ROM files, import MAME, Amazon games, EA, Play and Origin games, Epic games, and every other launcher that you can find right here. I'm going to be starting by importing some ROM files. So you want to select into import ROM files, and this is the automatic wizard to help you to import your ROMs. Click into next, and in here you want to select the folders that you want to import. Click into add a folder, so go where you have your ROMs, and you have to add every folder separately for any console. At first, I'm going to start with SNES, so I'm going to select this, select folder, click into next, and now it's going to ask you what platform are you importing your games for. So you want to open the drop-down menu and scroll until you find the console that you choose for. Once you have selected the correct platform, you want to click into Next. And here you're going to have two different options. For example, for this console, it's going to ask me if I want to automatically install and configure RetroArch or to manually configure an emulator. I recommend you guys, for the ease of use, to choose the automatically install and configure RetroArch. Now, you're going to have three options that is the copy the files into my Launchbox Games folder to move the files into the Launchbox Game folder or to use the files in the current location. I want that this copy them into the Launchbox folder, so I'm going to select that, and this is going to search for the game information in the local metadata database. Click into Next. Now you're going to have the option if you want to download images for your games. I will leave it as it is. This is going to improve how Launchbox looks and how you can search for the games that you have. So you want to click into Next. Now, if you have an Emo Movies account, you can set it up right here. I don't have one, so I'm going to click into Next. Now, some older games, the aspect ratio is not the same as you have in modern games and in modern computers. So if you want, you can add some bezels to the size of it so you don't have those bars on the sides. So you want to check the mark to download bezels. I'm going to leave it in the original mode. You can change this later on and click into Next. Now in here, you're going to have some custom options. You can read them all later, for me the stock ones are perfectly, so I'm going to click into Next. Now the Import ROM wizard is almost done, and as you can see it's ready to import all my games. I want to click into Finish. Now when it's done importing your games, you're going to see that they are going to appear right here. And on the left side you can see one menu where you can choose the different consoles or PC games that you have. Now let me show you how you can add another console directly from this site. Go into the top left corner to the three lines, click on it, and scroll until you see Tools. From there into Import, and select ROM files, in this case if you want to add more ROMs. Now you will have to do the ROM process wizard once more as we did it before. Another great thing about Launchbox that you can check right here is for example if you go into any of the games that you have. On the right side you're going to see some star ratings, and a small description about the game itself. Now let me show you how you can import, for example, your Steam library in Launchbox. Once more, on the left side, click into the three lines, go into Tools, Import, and scroll until you find your Steam games. This new wizard is going to pop up, you want to click into Next, and from here you are going to need your ID. For that you want to open Steam, go to the right side where you see your username, click on it, and click into View My Profile. On this new window you want to click where you see Edit Profile, in here you're going to have this option of Custom URL. 
you want to change this for the one that you want to set up. Once you have it, you want to scroll down and click into save. And now you're going to copy and paste that custom URL that you choose it inside of Launchbox. Click into next. Now it's going to ask you to enter your Steam API key. If you don't have it and you don't know how to set it up, click on this video right here that I teach you how to do it. Once you have it, you want to paste it and then click into next. What platform are you importing games for? Mine is Windows, so you want to select it right here. Click into next. This is the same about the metadata. Click into next. And then you're going to be able to start importing all your Steam games into Launchbox. And the same you can do with other launchers, like for example, Amazon Games, Epic Games, Origin, and everything else. Now, inside of here, there are a lot of options that you can change if you want for. For example, emulators, the platforms, Docsbox and how this works, RetroArch, and everything else. Now that you have it already set up, you can already choose one game, right click into it, and click into play. And now this is going to launch the game for you, and you're going to have there all of the games organized as you want. Guys, if you want a more in-depth tutorial about how to set in everything, absolute everything up, or configuration, or if you have any problems at all, just leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel, and see you guys on the next time. Bye-bye.